so suppose suppose we have a statement like this in our program right now this is a statement okay now this statement will be passed on to the lexical analysis right this is a high level code high level language right this will be passed in this will be passed to the lexical analyzer phase right so this lexical analyzer will generate what stream of tokens so stream of tokens will be generated like this okay and and then this stream of tokens will be passed on to the syntax analyzer which is in syntax analysis phase right so this is basically here we are using parsers okay and then the parse tree will be generated okay so the main function of uh, the main function of lexical analyzer is to convert lexemes lexemes to stream of tokens stream of tokens so basically these are lexemes okay okay or you can say identifiers as well and it is also going it is also going to reduce the lexical analyzer phase it is also going to re, uh, remove white spaces white spaces or blank spaces you can say that is also removed by this lexical analyzer phase remove white spaces clear so here x a b c are identifiers okay these are identifiers and here equal to plus and multiplication are operators clear now now this syntax analyzer phase will parse the tree using the grammar using this grammar or using this production okay e e plus t so syntax analyzer will generate the parse tree according to these productions okay i will tell you in detail how it will get generated and how will it will look like the parse tree how it will look like so we will see now so these are the productions okay so now the parse tree will look like this so it will generate the parse tree and the parse tree will look like this E derives T, T derives F, and F derives the identifier. Okay, so one more thing I would like to add here is here here S is the start symbol. E is expression. E denotes expression. T denotes term, F denotes factor, and ID denotes identifier. Okay. Now, if we if you traverse this parse tree, you will get this given expression. You will get this. Okay. Which is basically a stream of tokens. So if you traverse this. 
so id then equal to then you will get this id right then you will get this plus operator and again you will get this identifier and then you will get this multiplication operator and again id now you will trace it back and like this so you will get id is equal to id plus id multiplication id and semicolon okay so these are the stream of tokens clear now so this syntax analyzer will construct the parse tree and that parse tree this parse tree will be passed on to the semantic analyzer phase this parse tree will be passed on to this semantic analyzer phase semantic semantic analyzer phase and it will generate the parse tree which is semantically verified as we discussed previously so it will generate parse tree which is semantically verified now when there is any syntax error suppose there is any syntax error in your line of code so that will be detected by the syntax analyzer okay clear that syntax that syntax error will be detected by this syntax analyzer okay and semantic analyzer will check whether the lhs is an identifier or not let me write it for you so note down this syntax error can be detected at syntax analyzer so if there is any kind of uh, syntax error suppose you have missed the semicolon or any any syntax error then it can be detected by the syntax analyzer okay and second point is semantic analyzer semantic analyzer will check will check whether whether lhs is lhs is an identifier or not lhs is an identifier or not okay suppose if you are assigning some value to a function that means it is a semantic error right lhs is not a identifier clear so that kind of error will be detected by this semantic analyzer okay so basically semantic analyzer will check the type of the identifiers okay it will check whether lhs is an identifier or and how it can check whether lhs is an identifier by checking the type of it okay clear so all the all the type checking all the type checking will be taken care of by this semantic analyzer clear now so this semantically verified parse tree will be given to icg correct the next phase of the compiler that is intermediate code generator okay so that semantically verified parse tree will be given to this icg and now this icg will generate three address code maximum three address code what do you mean by three address code what do you mean by three address code that means three variables will be maximum three variables can be used okay so maximum maximum three variables in a statement three variables can be used in a statement okay so for example uh, we had this this statement right a plus b into c right so this after getting the semantically verified parse tree this icg will generate three address code like this t1 is equal to b into c t2 will be equal to a plus t1 right and x will be equal to t2 so this is this is the three address code maximum three variables can be used in a statement as you can see t1 b c t2 
t2 a t1 x t2 right so this is three address code it is generated by this intermediate code generation phase clear now now this this three address code will be passed on to will be passed on to code optimizer phase right that is the next phase of the compiler so it will get passed on to this code optimizer and what code optimizer generally do it reduces the line of code it tries to reduce the code size of the code okay so what it will do it will generate something like this t1 is equal to b into c right and x is equal to a plus t1 so it has reduced that three lines of code which is generated by this intermediate code generator it has reduced this to two lines of code right it has directly assigned the value to x here we were assigning it to we are we were assigning t2 to x here it has directly assigned the a plus t1 calculation to directly to x okay so it has reduced the code size of the code okay so then this code will be passed on to our last stage that is target code generation okay and in target code generation what will happen uh, something like this we will store the value of a to the register r not suppose and we will store the value of b to r1 and c to r2 okay and the instructions the assembly level instructions will be generated right that is r1 comma r2 multiply r1 r2 that is b into c correct then add then add r not r2 right and then move r2 to x okay so these are the assembly level instructions that is generated by this target code generator okay so a is assigned to r not b is assigned to r1 c is assigned to r2 okay all the in the all the registers we have stored the values and then we have performed the given operations okay and finally we have stored the value into x r2 value into x move we have moved the value from r2 to x clear so i have just given you the overview how all the phases of compiler perform their task to generate the assembly language from the high level language okay and then we use assembler and then we use other other stages of uh, the execution phase so that is a different thing because we we just have to study the phases of the compiler only that's why we will study till this target code generator clear now now one more thing uh, i would like to add here is so you you have seen all the phases now like lexical analyzer we have then we have syntax analyzer then we have semantically semantic analyzer right semantic analyzer and then we have icg correct intermediate code generator then we have code optimizer and then we have target code generator tcg okay so if you if we want to make a new compiler suppose if you want to draw if you want to design a new compiler then you just have to change the these last two stages okay you just have to change you have just have to make changes in this last two stages that is code optimizer and target code generator rest is same rest is same for all the compilers clear so that is important point rest rest these four stages this first four stages are exactly same for all the compilers and if you want to make a new compiler you just have to make changes in this code optimizer phase and target code generator phase clear and this this four phases we we generally call this as front end of the compiler clear so we generally call this front end of the compiler or starting part of the compiler okay and these two phases we call them as back end of the compiler okay so just just uh, 
remember this that these four stages are exactly the same for all the compilers when we want to design a new compiler we just have to make changes in these last two stages that is code optimizer and target code generator clear now now there is a note like there are various tools available to implement a compiler okay so for a lexical analyzer if you want to implement a lexical analyzer so there is something called as a lex which is available in linux this is not the this is not exactly uh, part of your uh, syllabus just i am telling you for your knowledge okay so for lexical analyzer we can implement it using lex which is available in linux okay and for syntax analyzer for syntax analyzer we have a yak okay to implement syntax analyzer so if you want to do some project on compiler we have a tool called lans we have a tool called lans it will give us icg it will it will give us finally intermediate code okay three that is three address three address code okay and that is that is the that is up to the front end okay so this tool this is a tool okay so this tool will implement all the first four phases of the compiler and it will give us the three address code that is the front end will be implemented by this tool okay and then we can implement or we can just make some changes in the back end back end is code optimizer and tcg target code generator okay so that we can implement on our own and and it is also dependent on the platform okay so this is platform dependent these two stages these two phases of the compiler are platform dependent so according to the platform we have to design these two phases okay and we can we have to implement it on our own until icg we can use this tool lans okay so in this way if you want to do if you want to do some project on compiler you can use that okay clear okay let's proceed